Hey buddies, Potato McWhiskey here and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 6 as Teddy Roosevelt and we are doing a modded game. Just to quickly remind you, I forgot to do this in the last episode, we are playing with the Even More Units mod and the More Units mod and we're also playing with the NQ District changes. I thought the NQ District changes looked interesting and I thought the New More Units mod looked interesting, so I plopped them both into this, um, into this playthrough. Now we're caught, we're not really sure what victory condition we're 100 going to be able to achieve i know that we're going for a culture victory because the um Each of us is a stone, erecting a the america has some pretty good bonuses towards going for a uh, the gods made for fun. culture victory okay so we just picked up temples which means we're gonna want to if i can purchase a temple, i could purchase a temple in here and that would be really really good for me um, because it would be extra faith and a lot of stuff in the city. The city already has a pretty damn good faith yield. So I tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to definitely. I could f faith purchase a missionary. I'm going to purchase the temple. Boom. And that'll boost our faith income. And I could potentially even stick someone in here. Like if I went if I went all out on faith. One, two, three. Like if I unlock this, one, two, three, four, five, I could be generating 31 faith per turn. Now, of course, my city would be like in a, in a terrible condition. Um, I'm going to go for food production and faith. Now, we don't need a whole lot of faith generation because we're mainly doing it so that we can pick up a few. Um, what do you call them in the late game? I would like to put a single dude into faith generation though. So I, I will do that. I do want one person on faith generation. Um, get rid of these. I do want one person on faith generation. Um, just because the difference is nice and it means I can get an, um, an apostle much quicker. So let's have a look here. We have what going on. We're gonna be, I would like to pick up shipbuilding. That's definitely something I want to do at some point. Uh, I would like an industrial zone somewhere. So we'll go pick that up. Choose civic. I think it's time for us now to think it's like think long term here. Picking up monarchy could be really good for us. Since we are going the faith route. So let's have a look what is involved in going that route. Yeah, I think picking up civil service or meritocracy could be really good to help out our culture gain. We'll go for divine right to quickly get a uh, tier three uh, thing and we'll see if we are tier two or tier three government. Uh, we don't have an we do have enough to get to the upgraded Leventa. Oh, they do want us to train a galley actually. How long would it take us to train a galley? Seven turns. This city has really bad production. Um, and it's only going to grow food. So that's fine. Los Angeles can be terrible if it wants. If that's what it really wants out of life. It can be terrible. I'm going to shoot this guy. That should be a kill. Really want like some sort of archer up here to tr help clear this crap out. Uh, I would really like Toronto to help me actually, but it's not, uh, it's not playing playing ball with me. Knowledge of machinery has advanced considerably. Might we should be able to kill this. What? Wow. Shoot here. You are going to fortify until healed. Okay, so you finished that. Um I would like to build a campus, and here's a good spot for it. We do need a little bit of science generation just to keep ourselves competitive. Next turn. If this unit dies, I'm going to be super upset. We're going to move you back one. And then we're going to pick up the barding to keep you safer from ranged units. You're going to shoot here. And that will be a promotion for you. 
I'm sending a builder up here for some reason. Uh, Alright. Next turn we've got a settler coming out, which we'll be settling over here. That's the goal. So we're going to want to pick up a, a unit o along the way to escort him. I was going to be sending it up here, but this needs to be cleared out before I can do that. People who cannot find time for recreation. So you're going to fall back and get healed up inside the city. You're going to move along here and pick up this uh, slinger. Okay. Uh, probably a good time now just to double check. Let's have a look here at the great people. We are getting 4.7 great rider points per turn. Hmm. Okay, so Washington. What do I need in my civilization right now? We do have a few settlements to settle. Uh, I would like to pick up a galley. Pick up a couple galleys to have control of the seas. You know, naval dominance and all that sort of stuff. It's less, it's less super important, but it would still be good to get a little bit of exploration done and to have some units to protect my own seas. Um, so I will pick up a few, a few galleys. Okay, this builder is ready. I'm going to drop off and improve this fish, which should help it grow. It should start growing now. Yes, excellent. And then you're going to get a granary, and that should help you. This should make you be able to support three population. Which uh, seems like that's not a lot, but right now it's actually a fairly decent, uh, decent amount. Uh, it's probably time to pick up another settler. Again, we want to settle. We're going to be settling a city up here somewhere, just because we just desperately need more cities. Um, desperately. How, what's the fastest route up here? Yeah, I like that. That's probably the way you're going to go. We have a campus coming up pretty soon. I'm pretty happy about that. We have a commercial hub finishing soon also. Well, he managed to steal that iron from me. That's crazy. We will be doing... Uh, we will be killing this guy. It's going to have to happen. And in fact, we're probably going to start working on it. We're going to build an encampment. Like there, probably. Although that's just like only... Um, production tile. I would have really liked to build the encampment there, but that's just not going to be able to happen. We'll hit there. Okay, we're getting some good exploration going on here. I'm going to move this archer along. So now it's your job to get this copper mine online. Next turn. Alright, so we just finished the commercial hub. We will be able to get another trader. Okay, great. Looks like a kill happened here. Mathematics knowledge has advanced considerably. There might actually be a city settlement over here. And in fact, I think there is. It depends. Okay, I want the encampment. I really don't want to kill this hill. Because it's my only hill in this city. But holy crap, is it my only, like, good position for an encampment. Otherwise, I have to purchase here and then drop the encampment there. And we will do that. We're going to start building units out of the city to push into that other city. Um, in New Orleans, we are going to work on this library here. We're going to specialize the city towards science if we can. Although it's not actually growing, is it? No, it's not. So I think the library is a good idea. But instead, we're going to pick up a builder. Doing a bit of exploration. There is let's see, where's this where's this next settler going? I've got one going here. One going here. And that's it, I think. I think here and here. If there might be another city up here, but I think yeah, we've only got room for two more cities. Yeah, I think we've only got room for two more cities, and then we're gonna call it quits on settling. We don't even have the settler policy slotted in, do we? Oh we do. Right, Reformed Church has advanced considerably. What do you do a hit there? Fortify. Unit needs orders. Uh, make your way down here. Get ready to kill this guy. So he's done a lot of settling down here. We want to kill Tenochtitlan or whatever it's called. Uh, we're going to drop a mine here. 
that'll speed up the how long it takes to make this granary and then we're going to finish this theater square here which is really great that's really great in my opinion because it's going to mean we're going to have even more points towards earning these um great people that we need but you're going to back up now could kill here. Back up a tile. You're going to stay fortified. Um, okay, Washington, you finished your final settler. Why don't you get to work on your water mill? Help you grow, get a bit of production. Okay, amphitheater. Uh, no, we need to, after this, we're going to be going for uh, traders and builders and stuff. So you're going to make a trader for Los Angeles. I think I will confirm this up to thing. So we get the extra two faith. Not a huge amount, but it is some. Uh, don't declare war there. I don't want to do that. So what is Noventa's bonus? Uh, your builders can now make colossal heads. That's not very good. Not very good if I'm totally honest. Keep moving here. Next turn, get a builder, get in there. We're gonna put this iron mine online now next. I'm gonna wanna drop a... Okay, so he declared a surprise war. This galley is gonna wanna come back. is in a craft where no history is the version of past events all land melee units gain plus four combat strength i'm gonna stick that in we're gonna lose the settler production we're gonna get plus one production in all cities we're gonna melee and range unit production We're going to level you up. We're going to get a hit here. All right, where are all my military units? You need to get down here if you can. I was planning war on him and he decided to war on me. All right, we're going to go for walls here. I should have built those walls ages ago. I was getting ready to defend myself. Where's spearmen? I need spearmen. I need pikemen. Make archers. Uh, you can't really help. You're going to finish that in one turn, that's fine. Fortify here, stay safe. Can't levy their military. Who's Leventa friends with? I go up to four. They're now on my side. They'll provide a wonderful distraction. Get up here and get that online. Okay, you should be ready for a level up. This should be a kill. There. All right, you're just gonna have to get out of there. All right, we're gonna need uh, archers. Should 
Shoot here, kill that. You do more damage. You shoot here and kill that. One more turn until defensive tactics are done. Why would I build a colossal head? Plus two faith? No way. Choose production in New Orleans. Uh, get a spearman. Hopefully this will provide a distraction for him uh, while I try and get my units all together. Oh, I meant to give him a level up. That's kind of poor. He should have survived that, actually. That's a big mistake on my part. Invincibility lies in the defense. Okay, so we're going to want to slot in here the 100% production towards defensive buildings. Ready for a level up. Range strength. Okay, you can drop a mine here. Ancient walls get started. Oh god. Okay, we should be able to kill this knight though. Which is really, really important to surviving. Send out more archers. Drop a farm here. Get these two farms online. Okay, we have a galley in on the on route, so they should the galley should be able to slow down their uh, their craziness. They've got eagle warriors and dragular warriors. So. The city has really bad production, so uh, I don't want to be careful here. What we do next turn? The settler is like, god damn it. Um. Can't even embark. Just go asleep there. Everything. Kind of a waste of production and potential. I didn't mean to end my turn. Alright, this galley should be able to hit this archer and pretty much kill it though if I understand how water combat should work. Yep. If I were again beginning my Progress towards mercenaries has advanced. That's great. That's actually really service. good for me. It means we have a lot of units like this should be a kill boom okay i'm gonna take plus five uh range strength against land units should be a kill here we're slowly whittling him down they came out move there shoot there all right so we're getting some kills and stuff throughout the map should be able to get some archers in range to help things out. Okay, so now you need to make some more galleys. In fact, we're going to go for... Uh, we can't go for that yet. We need more uh, We need more gold. We're having a gold, gold crunch here. Yeah, we're in a severe lack of gold at the moment. We will pick up education though, so that we can get this city fully figured out. What was I even going for here, trader? Yeah, I think I've stabilized to the point where I can start taking a few of my cities off building units. And then these two plots of grain should speed up how fast the city grows to the point where it'll be very, very useful very soon. So we found the Vikings, Savalar our hospitality, thank you. I'm surprised he declared war on me when we were declared friends. Well, I mean, I'm not surprised, but I'm surprised. <laughs> uh, shipbuilding is advanced. This should be more or less a kill. Okay. Uh, okay, we've got the galleys now. We're going to want a couple spearmen on the front line. Two spearmen. Three archers behind them. I think we're okay now. How long until you can build another... District. Okay, so the district we're going to want to build here is probably the harbor. Uh, we'll see about what we do. 
we don't really have room for a commercial hub that we want. That's just unfortunate the way the city worked out. Make me another galley. Uh, New Orleans, you made a spearman for me. Thank you. In fact, I'm going to get another spearman from this city, and then that should constitute enough spearmen to uh, hold off pretty much everything I'm worried about. Go there. You can move along. I'm almost ready to bring this archer up. We've got two more turns on the walls in this city, which will make it pretty much impenetrable. Three more turns on this city's walls, which will also help. I do need to get a stronger strength melee unit out to make my city stronger. I also need a stronger ranged unit if I can manage it. Uh, I do want to put a mine on this tile. I also don't want to chop my forests because I want to use them for uh, national parks. Nice one. We're pushing them back. Bunch of free kills, essentially. Lots of experience on our units. Okay, I'm going to level you up. You're going to move here and get leveled up. You're going to move here and take a shot. You're also going to take a shot. You're going to move there. You're going to take plus one movement. All right, so we've got a good scout going on here. His cities are really strong. We won't be able to take them out for a while. Take a shot here. Damage that guy. Still here. Two more turns until we settle our essentially our final city. Uh, I need to send a I need to send an archer up here to clear this out so I can actually settle that. Um, you can make your way down here. Okay, so we've got two galleys now to hold the front. Keep us safe. I'm gonna send it to Los Angeles. He wants me to construct an encampment. That is something I want to do. Definitely something I want to do. But it's just like I'm at war, man. I'm at war. We are getting one experience for our units every turn. That's incredible. Uh, so, Washington. We can build our next district. So what do we need? We want to get an apostle actually. It's something we want to do. We actually do need a builder here because we are working on improved tiles. Go for extra faith? No, I don't think we go for the extra faith. Um, this is fine. I'm happy with this. Okay, we have walls in Baltimore. Which means we can go for Granary now. It's really unfortunate about the timing of that. We need a... We need a... District here for uh, housing or something. We need the... Uh, we need this tile. Right there. I don't have the money to purchase it. I'm going to drop a mine here. Boom. How long is it going to take me to repair this? Oh, it's only one turn. Okay, that's not so bad. I need these units ready for upgrade. I'll take a shot with this unit. Start moving these units forward to uh, start pushing back the front line. Hit there. Right. Now we're going to want some of those ranged boats as well. Okay, we've got a couple of spearmen moving up to the front line. I think this guy can actually come back and start dealing with this. I won't need to build a unit to deal with this next turn. I'm surprised Toronto hasn't gone to clear this out. It's, it should be within its threat range, right? Oh, I moved him too far. I moved him into the city range. Yep, that was dumb of me. Look, these things happen. It's part of the game. But I'm going to call that an end of this episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. We're about 20% uh, through this campaign, I would say, by now based on the turn counter uh so i want to thank you guys very much for watching hope you guys are enjoying this series please remember if you want to see more from me that you can subscribe to my channel to get notified when new videos come out if you want to directly support my channel please leave a like on the video 
And if you want to give me feedback, make sure you leave a comment. Other than that, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I love you all very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.